Well, we've learned a lot of checkmates with the queen, but what to do when she's missing? Well, have no fear. Two rooks are just as good as a queen, sometimes even better. Yeah. We're going to look at a checkmate today with two rooks against a king called the rook roller. Sometimes we call it the ladder checkmate, and I'll explain why that is in just a minute. When you've got two rooks, or even a queen and a rook, you can do this checkmate. Notice our rook over here on B1. Hello. It's aiming at all of the squares on the B file. Why is that important? Well, it means that the black king is never going to be able to cross over the B file. If he tries to, he'll get zapped by the rook. So, with this rook controlling the B file, let's move the other rook to the C file. Now we've got this rook aiming at all those squares, but our new rook is aiming at the king. The king can't go left, and he can't stay on the C file. He's in check, and he's got to go to the right side of the board. Let's have him move to the square D6. This rook went rolling along to the C file. Now it's time to bring the other rook over to the D file. They're basically Jack. just going to be swapping places back and forth, moving along the chessboard. They are rolling along. Sometimes we call this a ladder checkmate because when you're climbing a ladder, you go up with your right hand, then your left hand, then your right hand. So think of this rook as your right hand. Yeah. Think of this rook as your left hand and climb up that ladder. Of course, we're going sideways, so it's more like crawling on the ground. But as long as you do right, left, right, left, you'll get the rook roller, no problem. Okay, black, again, can't go to the left because the other rook will zap him. See, my computer doesn't even allow it. He's got to go to the right. Now we just used the rook on the D file, so it's time to use the other rook. Now if you're thinking, hey, Check. this is even easier than the king and queen mate, I think I agree with you, it is. Black's king moves to the right, and look at this great teamwork. Chess is all Check. about your pieces working together, and eventually, I think you see what's about Check. to happen. When the king touches the H file, and our other rook travels over, Check. there's nowhere left to go. You can't fall off the edge of the chessboard. It's checkmate. This rook puts the king in danger, and he can't run away, because the other rook guards all of the squares on the G file. Seems simple enough. But there is one thing that your opponent could do to make your life a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to our starting position. We already said this rook is doing a good job of aiming at all of the squares on the B file. So this rook travels over to the C file. This time we're going to have the black king come closer to the white rooks. Okay, He's going to try to defend himself. Okay, By now you know Check. it's the right hand's turn. And then it's the left hand's Check. turn. Now we've got a problem, chess kids. When the king moves to f3, before you put that king in check, you should be guessing where he's going to move to get out of check. If you just keep on following my advice check. and play rook to f1, now you see what's going to happen. The king's going to capture the rook. Now you're not going to be a rook roller with only one rook. You actually can checkmate with one rook, but it's a lot harder and we haven't covered that topic yet. So what I'd rather you do is save your left hand. Don't get one of your hands oh, no. chopped off. Let's move this rook all the way up to the top. We're basically moving our ladder up to the top of the chessboard. Black's king might come here. And then we move our other hand all the way to the top. But you want to stop on d7. If you go all the way to d8, your rooks are now running into each other. It's kind of like climbing a ladder. You don't want your hands right on top of each other. That wouldn't be very stable. Okay. Black is just kind of waiting here, and now we can do our rook roller again, this Check. time at the top of the chessboard. And the same pattern, Check. it looks the same. The king moves to the h file, but he's too far Check. away to save himself this time. Rook to h7's checkmate, and it's game, set, match. We're attacking all of the squares on the h file, and all of the squares on the g file. There's nowhere for the king to go. He has been rolled up by these rooks.